Hi, everyone, and thank you all for joining us today. I'm Michel Tricot, and I'm the co-founder and I'm the CEO of Airbyte. We are thrilled to gather so many data engineers, data practitioners, thought leaders for this conference. This is the first time we're organizing Move Data, and we are looking forward to many more in the future. For this first instance, we are welcoming 40 amazing speakers. We wanted to encourage short, tangible messages related to all parts of the data space. We gave them a very simple message. If you could put one thing on a billboard related to data, what would it be? Our objective is that everyone coming out of this conference will have gained new knowledge on how to better work with data. Indeed, data has become the key asset for every company. The amount of data that is created and consumed globally has more than doubled over the past five years and will continue to grow exponentially. And it is not just the volume that has been growing, but also the number of places where companies have data. It used to be just a few files and a few databases, and now it's hundreds of files, multiple databases, many APIs and applications. And this has led every company to have to become a data company. Fortunately, the world has changed from ways that you need. First, modern data warehouses and modern data lake have made data processing more accessible to a wider audience. Second, we've seen a few products come to the market to access that siloed data. And this is why we started Airbytes. We wanted to evolve the way people approach data movement. We created the leading open source ELT platform and our growth and adoption over the past two years have been incredible. Over the past two years, we focused our product and engineering effort on two main initiatives. The first one is the platform, which is everything related to the orchestration of jobs, the operation, the configuration, the scale of the platform. The second one, the connectors, where we release many out of the box connectors for the most used API. We also release many database connectors, including Postgres, MySQL, and most of the cloud native databases. As part of these efforts, we spend a lot of time building more tooling to make it always easier to address the long tail of data connectors and simplify both the build and the maintenance of connectors. And we also released Airbyte Cloud back in April 2022. This product is following a very similar growth to what we've seen with open source. We are very proud of what we've accomplished, but we did not do it alone. We have an incredible community with many of you probably listening to me right now. We could not have done it without all of you. Over the past two years, we've had over 50,000 deployment of Airbyte. And of this 50,000 deployment of Airbyte, 2,500 are daily active user. It means that every day they are relying on Airbyte being part of their data infrastructure to replicate data. We also went from a small 100 terabyte of data replicated every month at the beginning of 2022. And today we're getting very close to a petabyte. We also went from zero to 300 connectors available on the platform. We're really starting to deliver on our promise to cover the long tail of data integration. And we have users, but we also have 600 contributors that are helping our community by bringing new connectors, maintaining existing one, and improving the documentation and improving the platform. So thank you all for your support. We're going to continue to hit new records together. So back to the industry. Why is the data ecosystem changing so fast? As I said, all companies are becoming data companies meaning that they use data for operational efficiency, they use data for analytics, they use data for machine learning, and they use data to make their business decisions. And this data comes from everywhere, third-party data, files, spreadsheets, database, SaaS application. A company today that is not leveraging that data is losing a major competitive advantage. And because of that, data has really become a key asset for these companies. So in order to make that data asset something that teams can leverage, companies actually need to invest in their data fundamentals. And that includes, how do I process it? Which warehouse, which cloud, which data lake? 
And how do I ensure the quality of my data? How do I make my data discoverable by the rest of my team, et cetera, et cetera. There is a lot of things that come into play. But also one of these fundamental is actually the data movement. And the data movement is the ability to bring data from one source and making it available to a destination where it will be transformed, modified, enriched in order to add more value for the company. Data movement has really been the main focus of Airbyte and we've designed our North Star around solving that fundamental. In order to achieve that, you need to have a product that is both ubiquitous and reliable. So what does ubiquity and reliability mean? Ubiquity is the ability to access any piece of data in any silo, any infrastructure, any geographic location, all while taking into account local regulation like CCPA, GDPR, etc but also your own internal policies. And the reliability is very simple. It means two things. The data arrives in time and the data is correct. That's what your team needs. So we've seen today that ubiquity and reliability are still these two fundamentals that are not addressed by solution today, both with homegrown solution, but also with closed source solution. So when we studied Airbyte, we actually spoke to a lot of users, a lot of companies across many industries, many of which were already using LELT platform. And they all had one thing in common. The first one is they were both paying for a closed source solution. And the second one is they were building this custom in-house solution as well. And the reason for that is simple. They have to build access to unsupported data sources and they have to support custom pipelines. The data that is captured every day comes from many new places. And when you use a closed source solution, you are limited by the use case supported by that product. And unfortunately, they will never be able to evolve at the speed at which new data and new feeds and new silos are being created. So what do companies do when that happens? Well, they just use their, um, they just build a homegrown solution. But the problem is that building this type of solution is actually very expensive. It's even more expensive to maintain and it's extremely expensive to scale. On the other end, closed source solution, in addition to being inflexible, have a hard time offering pricing that can address the large scale of data sources. So companies end up having to maintain two expensive solutions that are basically doing the same thing. So what if you had a product that could solve all of that? What if you could extend the solution with new connectors? What if you could customize existing connectors? What if you had a product that you can fix and improve without having to wait for an external product team to prioritize your ask? And open source gives you that flexibility and that extensibility. And it's also giving you the control over your data. You don't have to let third parties have access to all of your data set. And as the open source solution becomes more popular, more battle tested, it becomes a standard, meaning that it encodes more and more use cases. It solves more and more edge cases, and it allows to cover more and more of your needs. This is what a ubiquitous and reliable solution looks like for data movement. And this is why we did Airbyte. So, <laughs> With this North Star of ubiquity and reliability in mind, we really want to announce three product releases. The first one is what we call our low-code CDK. Addressing the long tail is a must-have for ubiquity. We released the original version of the CDK in May 2021 to help our team, to help our community to build and maintain higher quality connectors. And yeah, over the past year and a half, it brought us 200 new connectors into the platform. Now, with the local CDK, we now have a declarative way of building these connectors. And you know what? We released it in September 2022. And guess what? Over one month, 75 new connectors got built and more are actually coming. See, this is a total game changer in the data movement space. So if you want to know more about it, Alex from Airbyte will be doing a deep dive presentation today around 11.30 Pacific time. 
But don't think we're going to stop there. We can go. We can do better. We are also building a low-code builder on top of that CDK. It will allow anyone to build and maintain connector via very simple connector UI. But you know what? Let's take a look at it. So during this demo, we are going to build a connector from scratch using the post hog API. So the first thing we're doing is we're actually configuring the first stream, which is the first place where data is coming from. And this includes configuring necess all the necessary input, documentation that user will need to provide to run the connector. Once this is done, we start configuring how do we access the API? What kind of authentication do we need? And then once this is done, we can start testing the, the, this configuration. So we have the ability to do that online, in line. And let's go into the details of what comes into the configuration of a stream. The first part is you can provide information about the data schema, like primary keys, how do you access the data from the, the API response, but you can also configure all the technical details related to how the connector actually interacts with the API, including pagination, delta updates, et cetera, et cetera. And as you play with your configuration, you can always continue to test the result of your modification. Uh, now that we have this first stream, let's add another one. Um, as you can see, it's extremely simple. You just same process as before, but actually the difference is that now you can actually reuse previous configuration and you can add new streams much faster. And this allows us to build new connector extremely fast but very importantly, it makes the maintenance much simpler. You don't have to dive into code. You don't have to dive into a file. And that is what will allow us, that will allow our community to cover a very large percentage of the long tail of connector. See, took us only two minutes and we have a high quality connector. Isn't that amazing? Um, and you know what? The final version is available in Q1, but the V0 is already available on the Airbyte master branch. The next release is the ability to split the control plane and the data plane uh, on the cloud product. So one of the top reasons why open source has been so popular is that many companies cannot let their data go through a third party service, whether they have PHI, PII, health data, financial data, they need to keep that data private and internal. So this feature actually serves Ubiquity as well. We want to enable every company to use Airbyte and have the ability to move data, even the most sensitive one. It allows for maximal security and compliance. It also ensures that no one but our customer has access to the data and to the secrets that protect that data. So in that particular setup, Airbyte Cloud only hosts configuration and only control the scheduling of things. That's all. Uh, we developed that product a few months ago, and we've actually been dogfooding it to support our European data plane. Uh, if you want to know more about all the technical details and everything that had to be built to support this split, David from Airbyte will be doing a deep dive today at 11.20 Pacific time. And if you're interested in actually becoming a pilot customer, please let us know. We would love to have you on board. And finally, at Airbyte, we are taking a very strong stance on reliability. As you may know already, our connectors go through a certification process, alpha, beta, and GA. And the certification process actually takes into account multiple dimensions, multiple signal, including the breadth of how much data is covered by the, by, the, by the connector, how well it's doing it, and also how much is it being used. So how many edge cases have been discovered. So starting from the first week of January, we'll actually stop charging for alpha and beta connectors on cloud. Our customers should only be paying for the best connector. And this is what it means for us at Airbyte to build a reliable platform you need to be able to fully depend on the data that's coming into your destination system. And this change will also create a very strong incentive 
to for all the participants of our maintenance program and also for our own team to bring more connectors to GA faster. So in a way, we're aligning your incentive and Airbytes and the project incentive. So these are only three immediate releases, but don't worry, 2023 will also have way more things that we want to announce. Um, so with all these three game-changing releases, we are on our way to build the most reliable and the most ubiquitous data integration platform. I hope you all enjoy that first talk of the conference and stay tuned. We have a lot of amazing speakers coming over the next two days with short and impactful talk. We all hope you will have an amazing time during this first edition of Move Data. Thank you so much for attending. Cheers.